All right, guys, so if you ever get a trailer that looks like this, the bottom of this, I don't even want to call this locking type knuckle mechanism. I don't know what the terminology is called for that, but you got this part incorrectly, and then you have that up there. Not, it's kind of like not in the same way that is. So it's incorrectly closed. Even when you come to a trail like this, you try to really pull and you push and nothing's coming out. It's because it's, it's buckled right there. So I'm gonna attempt to try to safely undo this without hurting myself too as well. And that way I can get back on the road. So let's see, pull this. So that's in there correctly. So right now you got the tension on this door that's shut correctly up against the door that's not shutting or that's not correctly closed. The left side is not correctly closed, but the right side is, which is bringing tension on that top corner part of the door. So it, you basically want to try to work off that tension. Let's see if I can. It's really hard to open. It. Oh, okay. I feel like I released some of that tension. Voila, I was able to open it. To avoid all that, you want to make sure that that is closed correctly. Just kind of open this up. See how I kind of did that? It kind of just went back in. And then make sure that it is, you may have to like kind of slam it in. Okay, so I was able to get that part in right there and correctly. And then once the knuckles or whatever that thing is called, the locking part is in there correctly, then you just push it and then you lock it. Now I can shut the right side correctly. Oh, see that top part? Yeah, get that top part in. You will have to use two hands and then both hands on here and, and synchronize shutting both of these so they both will be in there correctly. So that's that. I thought I would need the hammer, but I didn't need the hammer. In this case, it was just a little bit of uh, tugging and pulling. Typically, if your trailer is at an angle and you could potentially the, the doors could be like offset. You may have to drive it somewhere flat and then open them back up and then try it again and it should shut.